This is J.B. on McGee. He was 21 years old, and he was a truck driver from Chicago, Illinois. He was down in Hendersonville, North Carolina for work, and he was found September 11th outside of his truck dead. His family and social media feel that he was possibly lynched, and the sheriff saying this is absolutely untrue, that they found him sitting in a sitting position with a rope wrapped around his neck, and the other end was hanging on a on a limb. Um, it's also being stated on social media, so I dug into this, that Henderson is or was a sundown town. I've listed the ones I can find. And a sundown town is a place where either something racist happened or is an entire community of only white people where black people had to be in before the sun went down. Gross. Okay, this is allegedly a photo of the rope and where he was seated, seated at the base of this tree. A few other things I'm including here. The family has retained an attorney because they're telling the family that it was suicide, that there's uh, evidence that he went and purchased the rope, but they haven't even seen this evidence yet. They've also not been able to see their child uh, still right now as far as I understand. So you can stop and read these. I'll try and put some links in the chat as well. Also, I wanted to make it clear that the Henderson police say that this has nothing to do with them. He was found out in the county, not within the town of Henderson. So I know people are writing to Henderson uh, yesterday, there was an investigation on Van Cole Mill Road by Vance County Sheriff's Office. Since this morning, we have been mentioned in Facebook posts. I want to be clear, this did not occur in the city of Henderson, and we don't have any involvement with the investigation. Uh, then the sheriff here also wrote basically the same thing, that he was outside of a fenced-in area near the base of a tree in a seated position with a rope wrapped around his neck. I'm going to now play a video from the sheriff. There are two of them, so hold on. 21-year-old Javion McGee stopped through Vance County as part of his job as a truck driver. It's a long way from where he lived in Illinois. Deputies found him dead Wednesday under a tree with a rope wrapped around his neck. We have a lot of questions. Not enough answer. Candace Matthews identifies herself as a spokesperson for his family. She says law enforcement initially told them McGee died by suicide. This young man has not had no indication of no type of suicidal ideation. He doesn't have a history of mental illness. At no point in time that we have said this was a suicide. Vance County Sheriff Curtis Brame says they're still investigating McGee's death. McGee's family does not believe he took his own life. But how can we rule out a hate crime at this point. Look at me and who I am. If I thought that anyone, regardless of their race, would lynch in Vance County, I would have it all over national news. When we got there, he was sitting with his back up against the tree on the ground. It's something common we would say as we would call a, a jail suicide or homicide where a person does not have enough height to hang or dangle. McGee's family says they were told surveillance footage showed McGee buying a rope from Walmart. The sheriff says they're still looking into that. He says the medical examiner's office will officially determine the cause of death. Mom and, and, and stepdad and dad have not even seen his body yet. Sheriff Brame says the family could not view the body in person due to distance. We want to see everything. We want full transparency. So, Sheriff, uh, you know, first of all, can you just, you know, walk me through what we know, the timetable of, of when he was found and, and what we know so far? Good morning. Yes, uh, this is Sheriff Curtis Brame here in Vance County. On Wednesday, September 11th, approximately um, 10.08 a.m., Vance County Sheriff's Office received a call out to a rural part of the community, Vanco Mill Road, 285 Vanco Mill Road, where a deceased young man was sitting up against a tree, with his back up against a tree. He had a rope around his neck, and he had the top of the rope was up in the tree limb. Um, there was not a noose. There was not a knot in the rope. Um, we have information that we got that this young man was had visited a local Walmart uh, store here in Henderson where he purchased an item that it will possibly be used around his neck. Uh, we're still, it's an open investigation at this time. Uh, we, we, we're following all the resources and avenue. We're utilizing 
Uh, we found out he was a truck driver after we identified who he was. At first, we had no identity on him because he had no ID on him. And once we identified who he was, we found that his, the tractor trailer that he was driving was in an adjacent lot to from where his body was located. Um, so at, we contacted his family in Aurora, uh, Illinois. Um, we had the Aurora Police Department go out and contact his family. And once that notification was made, we um, personally talked to my investigators, talked to the family, and, and, and informed them of the information that and the, and the ongoing investigation, uh, the, or the death investigation, of their son, that 21-year-old son, uh, Mr. Magby. And so at this point, I mean, you, I mean, you sure you've seen some of these videos from family members that have out there sort of, you know, questioning whether there could be foul play involved. You know, what's your response to that? Um, I understand the loss. Uh, I feel uh, gratitude, uh, condolences, not gratitude, but condolences go out to the family. Uh, I never lost a child to the mother and to their loved ones. Uh, I, I never walked in their shoes, but I asked them to slow down to pump their brakes to slow that train down that has left the station about the Vance County Sheriff Office and definitely want to clear that the Henderson Police Department has nothing to do with this investigation whatsoever. This incident is clearly out in the county under the jurisdiction of the sheriff, which is myself and my, my uh, deputies and investigators. Uh, we invited the North Carolina Highway Patrol of correction, the North Carolina SBI to assist us in the investigation regarding perceptions and, and, and get clarity and to be transparent that the Vance County Sheriff's Department is not withholding anything and sharing information regarding to the decedent to, to the family. Is, is there an autopsy yet? Our autopsy is being performed today, yes. Okay. And uh, also, you know, with regard to, you know, the rope maybe possibly being bought at Walmart, is that you, would you be able to release that surveillance video? Uh, once we compiled the information that we have, uh, uh, step by step, uh, talking to the district attorney, the local district attorney, and the SBI. We don't want to release too much information too soon because this is an ongoing investigation. And we just ask everybody to be patient and so we can do a thorough investigation to get the proper information out there and ask people to stay off social media and slow down and report the facts. As to, I understand there's over a thousand hits on TikTok. Uh, the sheriff office not being transparent, not providing information to the family, and that is not true. There's been information put out there that there's a lynching in Vance County. There is not a lynching in Vance County. The young man was not dangling from a tree. He was not swinging from a tree. The rope was wrapped around his neck. It was not a noose. It was not a knot in the rope. So therefore, it was not a lynching here in Vance County. Well, on, on the other side of things, do you believe at this point, or can we, can we confidently, it was a suicide? I cannot, without the uh, report, the cause of death from the uh, um, medical examiner, we're, we're going down every avenue, every aspect, uh, all the information, videos, uh, we, we got in contact with the trucking company uh, to get his GPS reading of all his whereabouts while he was here in Vance County in the Henderson area. So right now, we don't know exactly the cause of death of this young man, so no, I cannot say it was suicide at this time. Uh, okay, and, uh, and also on, on the other side, Newt can't say, foul, uh, you know, how is it being treated, just as a death investigation? It's been treated in, in to, as a death investigation until we rule it out. Okay. Are there any signs of any foul play? No, sir. Not at this time. No signs of foul play or implication of anyone else involved at this time. You know, now what's your message to the family? I mean, obviously, regardless of what this was, I mean, they're thousands of miles away in Chicago. You get news that, you know, your son is found you know, near a tree in the middle of North Carolina. Be patient. Call us 24-7. Uh, the Vance County Sheriff Office, 252-738-2200. I'm Sheriff Curtis Brain. Call me or one of my investigators. And with a, any time of day or night, we will come and we will meet you here at the Sheriff Office. Uh, I'm sorry that the family wasn't awarded that opportunity to view their son or their loved ones. And in a natural, not a natural circumstance, but in a normal circumstance where someone is um, deceased and, and taken to a local hospital, the family are awarded that opportunity to go to the hospital, to the emergency room, or, 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 or either some other form of fashion so they can view the body and identify the person. This young man was not disfigured in any form of fashion. 
the picture ID that we took, uh, the picture that we've taken of him was positively, you could identify as being your child or identify, someone who knew to could identify that picture. So where is he now then? His, his body is at the medical examiner office, been autopsy. For the, for the autopsy? Yes, sir. And do we know when the results of that are going to come in? Hopefully today we get a preliminary and, and give us a, a, a better understanding of what happened. And will you, will you release that right away? I, I will share the information with the family first mm -hmm. and then uh, make a decision from the district attorney about sharing it with the press and with okay. the public. Is there anything else that you, you know you mentioned that you've seen out there on social media that you want that you saw that you wanted to address or clear the air about? I do. I just want people to stay out of their room with meals, stick to the facts, let, allow us to do our job and be patient and, and, you know, and stop saying that the sheriff is not being transparent or that the sheriff is not doing what he's supposed to do. I'm very clear in my duties and my responsibilities and my obligations to the citizens of Vance County in the state of North Carolina. And keep, do you know who found him or what the circumstances of the call coming in were? I have not released that information this time, sir. Okay. Uh, the call came in through 911, so therefore it's, it's a record and we'll be able to trace that back. So, uh, do you, so we can't say who, who came, up, came upon him? Not at this time, just part of the ongoing investigation. Gotcha. Um, do we know, you know the last people who were in contact with him or kind of anything leading up to this? No, sir, we do not. Uh, other than uh, apparently being at Walmart distribution. Okay. I mean, I, I'm sorry, Walmart store. Okay. And his, his truck, how, how far was he from where his truck was parked? Oh, I said 30. 30 yards, 30, 40 yards from where his truck, the, uh, his truck was in a fenced in area and he was on the outside of the fenced in area where a tree was at. And you said he was uh, just sitting up against the tree? Sit with his back up against the tree. Okay, and the rope was just around his neck? Yes, sir. Was it tight? Was it I did not pay any attention personally. I cannot uh, comment on that. Okay, um, any other, uh, you know, anything else on his body, bru you know, bruises, anything like that? No, sir. Okay. No. Um, anything else you wanted to uh, add or that I forgot to ask? No, sir. I think you covered it all. All right. I appreciate you. Yes. Sir. All right. Sure. Yes. Thanks.